Gilbert. Glenn Clark. Brooks and Duff. Tina Carter. Terry Clark. Joe Diffie. Sarah Evans. Alan Jackson. George Jones. Kobe Keith. Patty Lovelace. Shelby Lynn. Martina McBride. Neil McCoy. Wendy McCready. Tim McGraw. Lori Morgan. Michael Peterson. Colin Ray. Leanne Rodgers. Sting. George Strait. Pam Teller. Travis Britt. Janiya Twain. Brian White. Leanne Wall. Shelly Wright. Wynonna. And Trisha Yearwood. And now, arriving at the Grand Old Opry House to present the award to the Entertainer of the Year, a lady who won it twice, Barbara Mandrell. To announce the Vocal Duo Award, John Michael Montgomery and Tanya Tucker. Presenting the Female Vocalist of the Year Award, Ronnie Millsap. Announcing the Song of the Year Award, Leroy Parnell and Susie Barnett. Honoring the single of the year, Ricky Scott. Presenting the Horizon Award, Steve Warren and former winner, Allison Price. The Male Vocalist of the Year Award will be presented by Faith Hill. Here are the Vocal Event Award presenters, Paul Brandt and Mark Miller of Sawyer Brown. Announcing the Music Video Award, Marty Stewart and last year's winner, Junior Brown. To present the award for Album of the Year, Glenn Campbell. The Vocal Group Award will be announced by Billy Ray Cyrus and Clay Watson. And Vince Gill and the world's number one ranked golfer, Greg Norman. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, thanks, Vince. All right, man. Yeah, let's do it again tomorrow. Can you? Pick up a news? All right, give you a chance to get your money. You got it, bud. Have a great show, huh? See you, mate. All right, bud. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the 1997 CMA Awards, Vince Gill. How's everybody? Hey, welcome to the 31st Annual Country Music Awards. I've hosted them for 35 years. There's only four that weren't on TV that I didn't host them, but I'm back and I'm glad. This is such a great business. I just played golf with Greg Norman, the number one golfer in the world. We're going to play again tomorrow. He wants a rematch. You know why? I'll tell you why. I won one dollar in shark money. I took the shark down. He's not so good in Nashville, but uh, no, I'm kidding. It was really a thrill to uh, to have Greg come and, and help us with the opening tonight and. Uh, Tell you, the only thing I got to do before we tee it up and give him a chance to get his money back is host this pesky little three-hour all-star CBS television award show seen by millions and billions of people. Hardly pays to ch change shoes, but I will because he's hurt. And um, <laughs> anyway, it's country music's most important night of the year, and we're all fired up. And if you were paying attention at the top of the show, you saw that everybody's here. Everybody's here, and we're going to get things off to the greatest start. We're going to rock tonight. Let's hear it for Brooks. And done. I'm the life of the party, baby, since you said goodbye. Honky-tonk, that's a honky-tonk, cross my broken heart. I put my right hand here on the spear and swear on the 
Entertainers of the Year, Brooks and Dunn, y'all. How about these things? Just bought one for the house. <laughs> Tonight's first award is for Vocal Duo of the Year, and here are some presenters that you saw greeting the crowd just outside a little bit, a little bit ago. Miss Tanya Tucker and John Michael Montgomery. has been won by some of country's superstars, including Dolly Parton, and Porter Wagner, Loretta Lynn, and Conway Twitty, Kenny Rogers, and Dottie West. Who's going to win tonight? Well, Tanya, that's a good question. Let's find out. This year's vocal duo nominees are... She's awesome. The Bellamy Brothers. and done. The Raven Brothers. Rancher Shaver. John and Audrey Wiggins. Award goes to. You get to open it. No, go ahead. I get to open it. You go. Yeah. You open it. Trips are done. That's all. <laughs> Once again, we thank you. We realize that, that someday, probably so sooner than later, uh, someone else will stand up here and take this thing. It's a duo. I hope you uh, have the uh, opportunity to have as much fun as we've had and uh, feel the sense of satisfaction it feels to be a duo in country music. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Sincerely, this, this means a little bit more to us every year that this happens, and uh, we really do appreciate it. Thanks to our band and crew, our families, all our friends who work with us every day, and fans and country music. God bless y'all for holding us up. Thank y'all very much.
The 31st Annual CMA Award. Sponsored by Wrangler. Female vocalist of the year going to perform for you tonight. And the first one is up that uh, is also has two other nominations tonight. One for single, one for music video. She's Nashville born and bred. We're real proud of her. She sings them as good as she writes them. Miss Pam Tillis. the stuff right there. That's the stuff. You know, just a year ago, Junior Brown walked off with the Music Video Award, and tonight he's here to spread the joy of presenting it to somebody else. And to help him, here's a guy who's really kind of part country, part rock and roll, and kind of a whole lot of hair. But uh, here's Junior Brown and my oldest pal in the world, the beautiful or talented Marty Stewart. Thank you, sweet pea. <laughs> you know, Junior, country music videos just keep getting better and better. And you provided that for us last year. Thank you, Marty. You're welcome, Junior. <laughs> I love your outfit. My pleasure. Oh, okay. There were lots of good ones this year, too, you know? The nominees for music video of the year are... Tell them about it, Junior. Rocket, Kathy Mateo. All the good ones are gone. Pam Tillis. Every light in the house. Trace Atkins. your love. Tim McGraw with 
Faith Hill. Strawberry Wine, Dina Carter. Well, the winner is, oh, how about this? For the first time in the history of the CMA, it's Marty Stewart and Travis Tread again. <laughs> no, oh, no. 455 Rocket, Miss Kathy Mattel. laryngitis right now, but <clears throat> I just want to say thank you to Stephen and to my mom for healing an old wound and my father for hanging in there and all our friends at the Mayo Clinic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, well I want to thank Luke Lewis, Retta Harvey, the, the people at Mercury who've really helped us bond and do a lot of great work together. I want to thank my wife for putting up with me, CMT for playing it and backing us, and uh, Nashville for making, making me a wonderful home. Thank you. He's up for five awards tonight. Here's the great George Strait.
Glenn Campbell, Sting, Trace Atkins, Dina Carter, and the award for single of the year. Ten minutes and we're out of here. Hi, Ralph. It happened overnight. She went to college, got a degree, degree, degree in rehabilitation therapy. And I could be a poster boy for you. Um. <laughs> Anyway, a few years later, she uh, picked up her guitar and started singing again. And this year, she's nominated for her very first CMA award, her second CMA award, third, fourth, and fifth. She does things in a big way, and she got pretty feet. <laughs> Dina Carter. I just thought of something fascinating. If you never wear shoes, your feet never stink. Let me try that. <laughs> you know, you're going to hear a lot of talk tonight about the Entertainer of the Year, the Male Vocalist of the Year, and the Vocal Duo Vocal Event and Horizon Awards. But you're not going to meet very many guys that won them all, that have won them all, excuse me. Here's my buddy that has, Mr. Ricky Skaggs.
It's great to be on this stage with the Grand Ole Opry and to be part of the CMA Awards again. And tonight, I have the honor of presenting the single of the year. And this is, this is some pretty stiff company tonight. I wouldn't want to be in this one. The single of the year nominations are... All the good ones are gone. Pam Tillis, produced by Billy Joe Walker Jr. and Pam Tillis. George Strait, producers Tony Brown and George Strait. It's your love. Tim McGraw with Faith Hill, producers Brian Gilmore and James Stroud. One night at a time, George Strait producers Tony Brown and George Strait. And Strawberry. Producer Chris Barron. And the old winner goes to Lord and me. Look at Oh, you ain't going to believe this. You ain't going to believe it. I, I can't. Oh, this is wonderful. This is just great. You, you want to know who it is? Where's that girl, the pride of Goodlettsville, Tennessee? Hey, Dina Carter. <laughs> to say thank you to Matresa Berg and Gary Harrison for the most awesome song and to Chris Farron for doing a wonderful job of producing this album that we waited forever for and to Capitol Records and um, Patrick Joseph Music I guess they have most of the publishing on that <laughs> um, and just to everybody my husband Chris, I love you. I couldn't do this without you. And my parents are here, and my family, and the band, and and uh, just the other songs in the category. You guys make me happy and inspire me to write too. So, thank you. Um, I'll be quick. I just want to thank her because she deserves all the credit she's getting. And um, thanks to Capital Scott Hendricks. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris. What, what Chris wanted to say was, uh, thank you, God, and you sure have pretty toes, Dino. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. That's great. Now maybe she can afford a pair of shoes. <clears throat> Tonight's second Horizon Award nominee, Trace Atkins, started singing gospel when he was still in high school. Mr. Soretta, Louisiana. Well, he was in this college at Louisiana Tech, and one of his brilliant music professors thought that he had the talent to sing opera, but he didn't have the guts to tell him. <laughs> Trace is six foot six, you understand? Anyway, when you're that big, you can do anything you want. Here's Trace Adkins, everybody.
your favorite stars, Barbara Mandrell, Billy Ray Cyrus, Sting, Leanne Ross. And coming up next, Travis Tritt, Joe Diffie, Sarah Evans, and the Country Music Hall of Fame. The 31st Annual CMA Awards. Sponsored by... This year, three giants of our business, two wonderful songwriters and a one-of-a-kind performer, are going to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. And they're all with us here tonight. And to introduce them, the first one, here's Travis Tritt, Joe Diffie, and Sarah Evans. In 1965, Billboard magazine named Harlan Howard America's all-time favorite country songwriter. And 32 years later, he's still got the tiger by the tail. He's written more than 4,000 songs, and they've been recorded by everyone from Tex Ritter, Kitty Wells, and his idol, Ernest Tubb, to Dean Martin, Burl Ives, and Ella Fitzgerald. One year, he had 15 tunes on the chart at one time. And tonight... We're going to sing a few of the many Harlan Howard songs that have become standards, beginning with his first hit, a song he wrote 40 years ago when he was a struggling wannabe songwriter.
The Country Music Hall of Fame is proud to honor the Dean of Country Songwriters, ladies and gentlemen, the great Harlan Howard. Country music fans everywhere, I love you. You make my heart feel real good. Thank you. I have a list. By the way, 37 years on Music Row, a lot of awards tonight. There's going to be winners and losers. I just want you to know in 37 years is my first CMA award, and it's a nice one. Thank you. So don't you guys be crying around here. All right, I'd also like to say congratulations to Brenda Lee, one of your finest ladies and best singers. I really thought she'd been in the Hall of Fame 15 or 20 years ago. I didn't know that she was just being inducted tonight. I love you, Brenda. Congratulations. Cindy Walker, you're my hero, you're my teacher, my mentor. If I woke up tomorrow morning without you in the Hall of Fame beside me, I would have really had the blues. Congratulations to you. All right, guys, quickly out to the West Coast. Thank God I met Johnny Bond and Tex Ritter, my first publishers, two honest cowboys I've missed so, so much through the years. And getting back to where it all began, I'd like to thank God for giving me a creative ability. And that wonderful night when I was about 12 years old on a farm in Michigan, I accidentally found Ernest Tubb in the Grand Ole Opry, and it gave me a direction to take my ability. And here I am, 97 years later, or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> And anyhow, I'd like to also thank the Buck Owens, my starvation buddy in arms, all that great song we wrote. The most honest singer, uh, every time Buck said, I'm cutting that song, he did it, and I wish I had a few more friends like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Price, wherever you are, Ray, I thank you. Not only me, but a bunch of guys. You picked us. You picked me up off the fork truck, set me down in Nashville, and made me a professional writer. I love you, Ray. My family's here tonight. I would love Owen Bradley Chedak and my favorite producers. God bless you. Good health to you. My family's here tonight. Jennifer Perry, Clemmy, my child bride, Melanie. God bless you. Last couple of years, I've been like a little puny, but I'm going to get well and take you to that castle in Dublin, I promise. Good night, and thank you. Way to go, Harlan Howard. Congratulations. Well deserved. <laughs> oh, what a great man. Now, Leanne Womack is a Texan who's been surrounding herself with country music since she was a kid. Today, she's one of our most talented new songwriters and singers. She's also a nominated for her on a Horizon Award tonight. I'm going to go back and brush my teeth. <laughs> I can't speak. This is what we need right here, y'all. Miss Leanne Woman.
We'll present our next award, Billy Ray Cyrus and Clay Walker. Well, Billy Ray said this is all the air time we get, so I should walk real slow. Maybe I should go back and do it again. <laughs> well, Billy Ray and I are going to present the award for the vocal group of the year. And the nominees are... Be like dancing. Alabama. Diamond Rio. The Mavericks. And the award goes to Diamond Rio. That's what this is for. God bless y'all. My goodness, um, to be quite honest, we didn't know if we would ever be up here again. We're having a great time doing what we do, but uh, the nature of the industry, you just never know. And uh, if this is the last time we're up here, great. We're having a good time, and we're, we're having, uh, feel like we're making as good a music as we've ever be made, and uh, just uh, thank somebody. so proud to be here. <laughs> uh, I am going to thank somebody. I'm going to thank... First off, I want to thank God uh, for giving us our talent. And the next thing I'm going to do is thank these five other guys up here for letting me sit here and blab all the last seven years. And I'm going to turn it over to them. Thank you. Well, bless your heart. I don't uh, rightly know how to handle that, so I'm just going to say... Thanks to Arista and my mother. <laughs> Get ready for Leanne Ryan, Alan Jackson, Glenn Campbell, and when we come back, Toby Keith and Sting. I heard new country on US 99. It's worth $1,000 an hour with a big money jukebox. This is not your grandfather's country music. Chicago's new country, US 99. Four truck or two, I'm crazy about a four truck. Lord, I'm crazy about a four truck. I'm gonna buy me a four truck and cruise it up and down the road. The sex of your firstborn may be designed especially for tonight's Musician of the Year Award. Here they are to do it for you. Toby Keith, the five nominees, and Sting.
nominees are Ed Baez on the drums. Paul Franklin Steele. Brent Mason, electric guitar. Matt Rawlings, piano. Brent Rowan, electric guitar. And the award for Musician of the Year goes to, you want to read it? Brent Mason. Brent Mason! Thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm, I was sure he said Mark O'Connor. I just, I've heard it since. The, well, first of all, I want to thank these musicians back here. Where'd they go? Oh, excuse me. For all the musicians that were nominated, uh, they, I want to thank them for being inspirations to me. And uh, they could have gotten this just as easily as I, I did here. And uh, they deserve it. Uh, I'd like to thank all the producers and all the artists who were kind enough to let me play on the records. And uh, I'd like to thank my mom and dad. And uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Kirsten, for the strength and, and support. And my little girl, my little daughter, Zoe. I love you all. Thanks so much. Hey, Sting! Sting! Do you, do you mind if you're here if we... If, can we call you Stang? Thanks, sir. Stang. <laughs> you know, a, uh, a recent uh, Houston newspaper critic wrote about Leanne Rimes that uh, she's really good in math, uh, plays well with others, Season. She is really, really a jewel, a bright, bright star of our future. And uh, some say she uh, sings a lot like Panther Klein, but I, I like her. She sings just like Leanne Rimes. And uh, we're proud to have her. Would y'all make welcome Miss Leanne Rimes?
Present this year's Horizon Award, Steve Warner and former Horizon Award winner, Allison Price. Well, the Horizon Award goes to the artist who demonstrates the most significant creative growth and development throughout the year. And the list of winners, past winners, reads like a who's who of country music superstars, including the lady standing next to me right here. Thanks, Steve. This year's Horizon Award nominees are goes to Leanne Rhymes. You know, this, this award means so much to me. I've always dreamed about walking up on the CMA stage. Uh, I want to thank the CMAs for giving me this. I want to thank my mom and dad um, for being behind me 100%. Lyle Walker, Rod Essick, um, Sandy Friedman, Mike Curb for believing in me all the way. Um, I want to thank all the fans out there. Y'all have made this year such a wonderful year for me. And I also want to thank uh, all the guys out on the road that, that make it happen every night. I love y'all. Thank you very much. Coming your way on the CMA Awards, George Jones, Patty Lovett, Trisha Yearwood, Shania Twain, Wynonna, and next, Alan Jackson. The 31st Annual CMA Awards, sponsored by Chevrolet Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road, and by Discover Card. Mr. Alan Jackson.
Job, Alan. He's one of country music's all-time favorite stars. Let's hear it for Mr. Glenn Campbell. Thank you very much. I'd like to say a happy 90th birthday to a great friend of country music, Mr. Gene Autry. Gene, we love you. And now for the, for the nomination for Album of the Year. The nominees are Blue. Thank you very much. This really means uh, a lot. And uh, I got to thank Tony Brown here, my producer, MCA Records, Bruce Hinton, and uh, everybody there at MCA that, uh, that supports me. And um, I want to thank the great songwriters that, that wrote the songs on the album. I really appreciate you giving me your material to do. And, uh, and these great musicians that were up here a while ago, uh, almost all of those guys I've had I've been fortunate enough to be able to work with in the studio, and, and they are truly geniuses. So thank you very much for this. I really appreciate it.
Now I've got to sing uh, a lot of duets with our next guest, Patty Lovelace, many times. And she's obviously one of my favorite singers, but I'm not alone. She's one of everybody's favorite singers. Last year she was named Female Vocalist of the Year, and she's a nominee again tonight. Here's Patty Lovelace. into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Here's Barbara Mandrell, Shelley Wright, and Terry Clark. is the only 
country songwriter to have top 10 hits in each of five decades. She was born in Texas, the granddaughter of a well-known composer of hymns, and she started out as a singer. But in the early 1940s, on a trip to California, she marched uninvited into Bing Crosby's office and convinced his brother Larry, who was his producer, that a little ditty she had written called Lone Star Trail should be sung by the great crooner himself. It was her first recorded song, and that's how the Cindy Walker hit parade began. according to this one. Welcome, the newest member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Cindy Walker. It's a wonderful thrill to be in Nashville and to be here on the stage, and I thank you so much. And I thank everybody that's ever sung a song of mine or liked it. <laughs> it's wonderful to know. But I'd, I'd like to read you a little poem that I wrote. It's true. And it's, if you don't mind, I'll read it to you. In the 1980s, my mother bought me a dress for a BMI affair. And she said, when they put you in the Hall of Fame, that's the dress I want you to wear. 
And I said, oh, mama, the Hall of Fame, why, that will never be. And the years went by, but my mother's words remained in my memory. And I know tonight she'd be happy. Though she's gone now to her rest, but I think of all that she did for me. And tonight, I'm wearing this dress. here tonight. Uh, don't get any ideas. <laughs> this year I, uh, I toured with a fellow Okie and I, uh, I really saw a terrific response that he got from audiences all over the country. And he's written some great songs for other people as well as himself. And as a performer, he's got all the right stuff. Last year he won the Horizon Award and tonight he's a nominee for Male Vocalist of the Year, Mr. Brian White. <laughs> Up on the CMA Awards, Tim McGraw, Shania Twain, Clint Black, 
Martina McBride, and next, Trisha Yearwood. Con Air, here's Trisha Yearwood. Welcome former entertainer of the year winner, Ronnie Nelson. Thank you, Vince. What a pleasure to be here tonight to share in this big celebration of country music. Wouldn't you know that asked me to work with five beautiful women when they know I can't see any of them? Oh, mercy. But we know that they're all great singers. Well, female vocalist of the year. The nominees are Dina Carter, Patty Loveless, Leanne Rhymes, Pam Tibbis, and Trisha Yearwood. And 
the award goes to... Thank you. I don't know what to say, and I uh, accept that this is what I have wanted ever since I saw Reba McIntyre win Female Vocals of the Year and stand on this stage and say into the TV set, if you have a dream, you can make it come true. And uh, I believed you, Miss Reba, and I'm here. Um, I want to thank NCA Records for being a team for me for the past seven years. I want to thank CAA. I want to thank Ken Cragen, Nancy Russell, and Force. Most of all, I want to thank my parents, as proud as you are of me right now, I am prouder to be your daughter. And I want to thank my, my family. My husband, Robert, who didn't dress me tonight. And, uh, and most of all, the fans who have, who have made me feel like I've won this award every year. I love you guys. Thank you. Here's a nominee for three of this year's awards, Tim McGill.
Winona and Clint Black with some of the stars you're going to see tonight. And next, a song from Shania Twain as the VMA Awards continue here on CBS. Heard new country on US 99? It's worth a thousand dollars an hour with a big money jukebox. This is not your grandfather's country music. Chicago's new country, US 99. Find out what kids are most at risk for obesity and what parents can do about it at 10. Here's a lady that sung everything from Gershwin to Andrew Lloyd Webber. As you're about to see, she's one unique lady, Miss Shania Twain. Present the Song of the Year Award here's Susie Bobby from Leroy Parnell. Hey. <laughs> I've written a song or two in my time, so and so is Susie. 
Uh, so we got a lot of respect for the writers who are nominated for Song of the Year. And the nominees are? All the good ones are gone. Dean Dillon and Bob McDill. And the award goes to. Don't you hate it when these guys mess around? Them? Stall. That's it. <laughs> Strawberry <laughs> wine. <laughs> Grace and Bird. Gary. <laughs> to thank Dina for cutting this song and doing such a wonderful job. <laughs> Pat Higdon, I love you. To Gary, to my wonderful husband Jeff, to my family, to Radio for Planet and for all y'all for buying it. Thank you so much. I wrote my first songs with my mother and this is to her memory. The title of Colin Ray's first big hit was All I Can Be. It could have been a description of the man himself. He's one of country's best singers and nicest guys. Here's male vocalist of the year, nominee Mr. Colin Ray. the male vocalist award to the beautiful face Thank you. Ben. Before I do anything, I have to say hello to my baby daughter, Gracie, back home. Gracie. <laughs> She's got 
got her dad's behind, thank God. Okay, the nominees for Male Vocalist of the Year are... Thank you very much. This... this is unbelievable. I, I, I'm glad I got to come back up here again because I forgot a while ago to thank all the fans out there. The very most important people in this business. And uh, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. I want to thank everybody in the CMA that voted for me. I really appreciate it. I want to thank my wife and son who are here tonight supporting me and have for a lot of years. Thank you very much. <laughs> Clint Black, Martina McBride, Lori Morgan, Winona, Alabama, more stars and more awards are still to come. Don't go away. The 31st Annual CMA Awards. Sponsored Lori Morgan, Michael Peterson, and Mindy McQueen. talent that ever came in a four foot nine inch package as a child they called her little miss dynamite today with record sales topping 100 million she's an entertainment phenomenon her father died when she was eight and brenda started singing at parties and on local radio shows not only because she loved to sing but because her mother needed the money to keep the family together her big break came when she auditioned for the great Red Foley, and he hired her on the spot for his Ozark Jubilee TV show.
50s and early 60s, every Brenda Lee recording became a top 10 hit. Baby, I keep them to myself. Sweet nothing. Ooh, sweet nothing. Brenda took her music to Europe, Asia, and Australia, and South America, and became one of the music world's first global ambassadors. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party house. Yeah, mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to start. For more than 40 years, she's been an enormously popular music star. For even longer, she's been a beautiful human being. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Brenda Lee. A lot of people have to help me get here tonight, and I want to start out by thanking Mr. Red Foley for giving me my first big break in music. He's also a Hall of Famer. I want to thank my late manager, Dub Britton. I want to thank a man who is probably as responsible for my success as anyone, my dear friend and my producer, Owen Bradley. I want to thank all the songwriters and the musicians for making the music. I want to thank my mother Grace and my family. I want to thank my other family, the Shacklets, Earl and Helen. I want to thank my children and my grandchildren, Julie, Jolie, Taylor and Jordan for sharing me with the world. And I want to thank my husband for his love and his support and his belief through all these years. He deserves this moment just as much as I do. God gave me a voice, and my audience gave me a career, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. And all of you, all of you here tonight through the CMA, the Country Music Association, have given me the greatest gift of all. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I love you for letting me sing. Thank you. Miss Dynamite. Oh, what a sweet night for the Hall of Fame. Here's a man who's made a habit of best-selling albums and top ten hits, and a lady whose top of the charts recordings have made her a big country star in just a few years. Mr. Clint Black and Martina McBride.
Now to present the vocal event award, here's Paul Brandt and Mark Miller of Stella Bank. Nominees for vocal event of the year are... Clint Black and Martina McBride still holding on. And the Charlie Daniels Band and special guests John Barry and Hal Ketchum. George Jones and Kathy Mateus, you've got a friend in me. Leroy Parnell featuring the Fairfield Four. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, it's your love. Yeah. And the award goes to you. Check this puppy out here. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. James Stroud for being great producers, um, Curb Records, their promotion staff, their sales staff, Mike Curb for picking this song as a single, mm -hmm. uh, Sherman Halsey for making a great video, and to the, thanks to the best friend a guy could ever have, my wife, Miss Faith Hill. Thanks to Warner Brothers for allowing me to sing <laughs> with Tim, um, and thanks to the fans for uh, making this song so special for us. And thanks to Stephanie Smith for writing an amazing song. Thank you. There's much more excitement coming up. Alabama, Barbara Mandrell, and the Entertainer of the Year Award. A song from Vince Gill, and next, Why No? Ladies and gentlemen, Why No? Your love started talking. Your love started talking. Your love. 
And Neil McCoy, he's a guy that does things his own way, and he's out there somewhere, and he's going to do something that I'm not really even sure what the heck he's going to do. But uh, to announce the radio station and, ra and broadcast personality awards, Neil, go, dude. I got You got to help me. I got less than two minutes. Dale! 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 come man, we want to go home. All right, I got it. Oh, watch out on me. Now here's a little rap, I hope it's not too far. Let's start with Major Market, W-G-A-R. Now Cleveland, Ohio's where you'll find it on the dial. Their biggest country station, and there's no denial. In Indiana, listen to Indianapolis to hear the large market winner, WFMS. Turn on your medium winners, Chattanooga, Tennessee, W-U-S-Y, you might even hear me. Shake it to the left, shake it to the right. Come on, baby, you know what I like. Now you've heard three markets, but you haven't heard them all. WBBN is the winner of the small. Now if you're saying don't know it, wonder where that's at. Law Hattiesburg, Mississippi, there you have it, that's that. If you're thinking, oh man, I sure hope he's through. Hey, I'm just getting started, I got more for you. So grab a soft drink or a glass of cheer. Here come CMA's Air Personalities of the Year. Major Market, Gary Murphy, and Jessica Cack. Up in Washington, D.C., they really kick some aspirin. Might be needed here before I'm through. Oh, yeah, the call letters WMZQ. In the large Paul Franklin and Eloise one. TQ all Winston Salem, where there's tons of fun. Now hold it, everybody. Here comes Medium. Jeff Roper, Andy Weber. You never heard better. WCOS, Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, my bad. That didn't really rhyme. Now I talked a lot of trash. Sure, you think so, too. Just a couple more words here before I'm through. Now, if you're saying that shit, I think I've heard of them all. Stop one more. Here's the last bit small. Scott Wynn, Tom O'Brien, WPCB, Lakeland, FLA. That does it, and that's it for me. All right, everybody sing it. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, Neil. Help. <laughs> this has been a, a wonderful, wonderful night for songwriters. And two of our very best were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Now I'm going to bring back a lady who wrote five number one hits in the last year. And she also was one of the winners of the Song of the Year winner tonight. It's not often that I get to introduce a poet, but uh, here's one of our very best, one of the most poignant moments of the evening, Miss Matresa Berg.
The CMA Awards will continue with Alabama, a song from Vince Gill, and the announcement of the 1997 Entertainer of the Year. Present the Entertainer of the Year Award. He is the first star to win it twice, Barbara Mangrum. Entertainer of the Year, you know that that's the best of the best. And I, uh, I want to tell you that the nominees for the Entertainer of the Year are Brooks and Dunn, Garth Brooks, Vince Gill, Alan Jackson, George Strait. Entertainer of the Year it is Garth Brooks. Garth is on the road and could not be here tonight, but he's going to be so excited. Congratulations, Garth. Next on the CMA Awards, Alabama leads a special all-star finale. Stay tuned.
the 31st annual CMA Awards. Sponsored by... Tonight and a wonderful year for country music. We congratulate all the winners tonight. The show isn't ever yet. We're going to close with a, show, a song. Excuse me. Kylie, here we go again, right at the end. <laughs> here to tell you about it is one of the best, Mr. Randy Owens. Thank you, Vince. This album called Country Cares for Kids will benefit the children at St. Jude's, and we're very proud of it. There are children in the world today that touch our lives in many ways with just a little smile. Tonight, hang on to your